Now out of the bat, I want to say that this video isn't sponsored at all. I'm just hyped about this tool because it really seems to be awesome. So what I have here is a list of leads and all these leads were captured by this tool with a single prompt. So as you can see, we have a sheet with name, contact information, current role business, and you can click on the cell to fact check the content. And then we have a lot more columns here. So LinkedIn, a website. Here we have a link of where this person was mentioned in Forbes. And then we have an AI automation engagement column. This was generated also by this tool, which understood the task of fetching for specific leads that are related to AI automation. And that's kind of bad, but I, I guess like that was my fault because the way it was specified makes it a bit easy because you could just type in AI automation person inside of Google, and then you go to the first LinkedIn options that you find. But still, like this is a pretty amazing result. You get a lead score, a lead category, a personalized outreach template. This is, this is pretty cool. And then you can see the entire process of creation. So you'll get a view of what it's scraping. At a certain point, it did, like I mentioned, it searched for a small business owners, AI automation, LinkedIn profiles. And then it got this entire list. But based on the list that it found, it went on to research for a specific person, which was this guy over here. Let me see if he's in the sheets. Yeah, he's the first one. And then if I go over to his LinkedIn page, I mean, yeah, he could indeed be a potential lead. And I don't really know if the paid version would bring me better results or even like more results. I see this button right here, but I mean, I don't know. I don't have the paid version. This was just one single prompt and all you really have to do is go over to the website, genspark.ai, hit AI sheets and you'll have access to this feature. And what brought my attention to this was their video that was posted, I think it's like six hours ago. All marketing campaigns from a company over the past year, upload these four excels to Genspark. Genspark quickly transformed this chaos into a clean, structured AI spreadsheet. Now just ask, which type of campaign has the best performance? Genspark immediately executes code and applies formulas. I mean, this really takes your talking to sheets, like talking to your data to another level. If it really works like this, then, then it's actually amazing. And yeah, use this at your own risk. Every time I make a video featuring any tools from China, there's always someone in the comment section saying, why are you giving away data to China? Like, and I'm just like, why are you even bothered if it's China or if it's US that's doing that? You just should be bothered that it's stealing your data. So yeah, just to make that clear. It generates not only charts for different channels, but also a radar graph highlighting email campaigns as the winner. Yeah, one thing is filtering out your own data, but another thing is actually going out and scraping social media, scraping YouTube results, scraping search results and bringing back something like this. Make a list of all American healthcare startups that are at series A or series B stage founded after 2020. Within minutes, GenSpark delivers a comprehensive spreadsheet providing 129 companies, all with recent funding in 2024, founded after 2020 at series A or B, complete with industries, founders, and investors. Yeah, I just had to test that for myself because this is really cool. So the only thing I did was go over to Claude in the laziest way possible and ask it with the context of the video. So I just grabbed whatever was in the transcript over here, sent it over to Claude and asked it, with a tool like this, get me some suggestions of what I could use it for that could get me money. Because I know that if you talk about money on YouTube, like any potentially new way to make money is of interest to everyone and including me. So then I just followed up with, hmm, okay, make me a prompt for me to search for leads specifically focused on people that could potentially buy my school community membership that has a focus on AI automation, educational builds. This was the prompt that it generated and all I did was grab that prompt, send it over here and that is what it got me. I wanted to test it for a second time and to do that I had to create another account because it seems like you can only prompt once but with that single prompt you can create a lot of things. I believe it's still creating something here. No, it stopped for now but you'll see that this bar is much smaller than this one. Yeah, no, not that huge of a difference but yeah, it searched for a really long time. So I asked now make me a prompt that looks into my own channel and then I sent the URL of my channel. It should gather all the videos created along with views, likes, comments, 
all the metrics possible and place a comment acting like a social media expert to let me know what I might be doing right and what seems wrong, etc. I like to place this at the very end of a prompt because I have identified that it goes out of its way to think, like to understand the context that I gave it and to provide more parameters because I feel like when I don't include this, it just gets only the things that I specified and then it just doesn't provide additional things that I didn't think of previously. So I did the same process, just place the prompt over here and observe how it would fetch for this data. First, for some reason, it searched for my YouTube channel, despite I have already given it the URL, but then it understood which channel it was, went over to my channel. It apparently found all the videos and then it followed along with this understand video tool. As it was being created, I could click on it and see that it was actually like going over to YouTube and scraping everything up. Sometimes it would take some screenshots. This screenshot was really early in the loading for YouTube. So it was just a blank photo. As it was scraping, I noticed that it gathered the transcripts of the videos. So I believe that maybe with the paid version, it would understand those transcripts and actually understand everything that I was saying in the videos, and then provide me a better feedback. Maybe if it included a column like this one, like an analysis of the video, it would be better. But at least for this result, it didn't succeed in doing so, but still it brought back a lot of metrics that would take a bit of time to do it manually. If you've seen a tool similar to this one, please let me know in the comment section because I really didn't see one that works this well yet. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So then.